here's a scenario. This is a design created a few years ago by a different designer. You are that designer's replacement, and you've been tasked with updating this design for next season. You'll have to change dates and times, performers' names, and other details. But as you actually open the file, you find that you have to change other things, too. You've got missing fonts. In many cases, you can simply install the needed fonts, and I'll explain how to install fonts from and to different places in the next few videos, including how to install fonts from Typekit, how to install fonts on Windows and Mac, and how to install fonts on Windows and Mac only for the use of Illustrator and or all Adobe applications. In this case, however, you don't have access to the fonts. Maybe your predecessor used fonts not licensed to your employer, and your employer has gotten more careful about font licensing compliance. Whatever the reason, you now need to replace those missing fonts with other fonts. Illustrator makes that very easy. When you open a document with missing fonts, you'll see this dialog box noting their absence. If I scroll down, you can see all of those missing fonts. We have Helvetica New LT Standard Bold, Condensed, and Light and thin condensed, and then we have kinetic slab bold and kinetic slab medium. If these fonts were available on Typekit, Illustrator would ask if I want to sync them from Typekit, but they aren't. The way to replace them is to use fine fonts, but don't click that just yet. There's something else I want to show you first, so let's go ahead and close this, and here is that document with the missing fonts. You can see any text that's set in one of those missing fonts is highlighted in pink. Now another way you can identify a font as missing is to actually switch the type tool and click within or highlight the text and then look at the character panel. Notice the little diamond beside the font. And if I open up my list you can, and scroll up, you can see there's a diamond beside the Helvetica New LT Standard as well. And if I open up that group, here's each of the weights that's missing. That diamond indicates a missing font, and it tells you what that font is, so you can go and find it. In my case, you can see I'm missing Helvetica New LT Standard, but I have Helvetica New above it, including all the missing weights. Hmm, so if I need to fix this, all I have to do, really, is replace these missing fonts with the versions I have, right? Well, let's do that. Let's go to the Type menu and choose Resolve Missing Fonts. And that gets us back to the Missing Fonts window. From here, I can click on Find Fonts, and that brings up the Find Font dialog. And this shows me each of the fonts I'm missing with a little yellow caution sign. Any fonts I have that are in use in the document are also listed, and you can see they've got the little TTF icons. So let's say Helvetica New LT Standard Light. Down here, I have to choose what I want to replace it with. So right now it's showing me the recent fonts. I don't want that. So I'm going to click this and choose Fonts in the document. No. I need more than what's in the document already. So let's turn on System. Aha! Okay, so now I have access to all of the fonts installed on my system. So let's go down and find my copy of Helvetica New. Helvetica New Light. So I highlight that, and now I'm saying replace the one at the top with the one at the bottom. I can click Find, and it will jump to and highlight the first instance, which you can see over here on the right. Then I can change that individually. Or I can choose Change All, and it will replace that font throughout the entire document. And notice how my little yellow caution sign disappeared. Now I can move on to the next one, Helvetica New LT Standard Bold. So let's change that to Helvetica New Bold. Change All. And then Thin Condensed, and then Condensed, and so on. And with that, I can quickly move through the document, replacing all of my missing fonts with fonts I have. Now there's another use for Find Font beyond missing fonts. How about if you've created a design using a typeface that you later want to change? And you've used that typeface in 900,000 type objects. Do you have to select all of those 900,000 type objects and then go to the character panel and change their font family? No, just use Find Font. Even if your fonts aren't missing, you can find the Find Font under Type Find Font. Up pops the same Find Font dialog. Let's say I want to replace Helvetica Bold with... Koenor Bangla Bold. I have both of them. Helvetica Bold is not missing, but I can still change them all. And I can do that with any document. I can replace all of my text across all of my layers out of all 900,000 of my type objects with just three clicks.